Teacher from 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 where? Glendale and Worthing. All oh, right, Worthing. Oh, that's yeah. right. Glendale first school. Yeah. That's right. So you've all been allowed out to come and see her then. Yeah. She better be good. Yeah. You think she's gonna win? Well, there you, are. you heard it here first. The dancing teachers, the people from Sheffield, the people down from Cumbria, all over the country. It's just absolute madness, and people just can't get enough. And pretty soon, in about two hours' time, we will know who is the winner of Idol 2008. Right, well, these gents backstage right here, who I've just bumped into, are. We're the Goodfellas, I'm JTP. My name's B Tech. Okay, boys, what are you doing here at Idol 2008? Well, uh, well, pretty much, with basically with a guest act for the evening. So um, when everyone's voting for the, the acts that have been on to see who wins and stuff, we'll be filling in some time. We also open the show this evening, so yeah, it should be good. We won live and unsigned earlier this year. Yeah, yeah earlier this year. Uh, pretty much, we incorporate like dance, beatbox, uh, rapping. You know, try to put everything up in there. That's yeah. pretty much it. Just gonna give them a little something, a little. <laughs> If you want, if you want. Should we give you a little Yeah, do it, do it, show us. Alright. Right. Give me a... Ow, 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 Listen, ow, it was ow. once upon a time, about 1986. Two hours got together, decided they wanted a kid. And nine months later, a kid was born, a new life to be lived. Young and innocent kid looking up from his crib. He sees mom, dad and friends in the place where he lives. They stand over watching him, something new, a new attraction. Pop plays some music and he gets a strange reaction. Kid can't talk, but he's happy, he's smiling. They both realize he likes the music being played. It's like he's trying to dance in the cut ways laid. Eyes are glazed, music tells his soul he's dazed. And mum looks at pops and says he's destined for greater days. Who needs a stereo with these bad boys? Welcome to Idol 2008, my name's Dave and this is it, this is the national final of Idol. We have travelled from Glasgow to Bolton to Bristol to everywhere. difficult to open the, the evening, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. Would you rather go first or last, though? I'd rather go first, get it out of the way. Yeah. Now, but you don't think you did your best? I don't know, really. I couldn't hear myself over the, uh, the track. The track is loud. Perhaps the fold-back isn't as loud as it could be. But trust Possibly. me, I was in the audience, and you sounded great. Thank you. And you look great, too. OK, who have you got down from Birmingham with you? I've got my mum, my dad, my nan. Did they all come down together? Yeah, we all came down on uh, this lovely little coach. Yeah, excellent. Good, well, good luck. Thank you very much. And um, if, you got to, if you were to win tonight, what would it mean to you? Everything. It's brilliant. Any, you know, to do well at anything, it's, uh, it's a massive confidence boost, and I'd be thoroughly, thoroughly pleased. Let's to my sports club. Take me on the creations Where your bright lights and angels me So, so, they took me on Welcome to the break of dawn. Take me on the fruity streets where bright lights and angels meet. Stone to stone, take me home. I'm walking to the break of dawn. Sean, somebody in the audience said it's Robbie Williams when he stepped out. Oh, I've heard now, it you kind of look like him, but what I thought, it was the style. I mean, that was a performance. Well, I, I did try my best to entertain people, you know, because obviously, Ken, I feel basically in my confidence. 
I've not got as much ability as people, so therefore I try and balance up entertaining people, you know, I just try and enjoy my performance and hopefully for me enjoying my performance, they'll enjoy their performance. Let me tell you, it worked. A treat, an absolute Super, treat, because yeah. you see, it's not a karaoke competition. At the end of the day, it's a competition for a singer who performs. And that's exactly what you did. Okay, we're backstage at Idol, and I'm now with Shana. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. That's a big voice. I know, but <laughs> it was going a bit, and I was like, "Oh my god!" But no, it was fun. It was fun. How did you did you coach? Did you were you born with such a gift? How, how did that? I started happen? singing in school, and then before Idol 2008, I hadn't been on stage for about seven years. So to get back into the flow, and I've really enjoyed it. It's been really good fun. But there's a lot of really good singers, so it's competition tonight. But I've had fun. That's the main thing. Can I just ask you how old you are. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Hello, this is Caroline. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. I'm enjoying the show, actually. I really did enjoy that. Good show. That was awesome. Thank you. It was fun. It's an interesting like choice it. as well. Really? Why? Duffy. <laughs> it's fun. It's, it's, it's a fun song. It is a difficult song, because I know so actually a very personal friend of mine was uh, also tried to do that in a competition, and she struggled with it. Yeah. Really? I don't know. I felt from the minute I decided I wanted to do it, I really felt quite at peace with it. So, um, yeah, I, I love it. I really enjoy performing it, so. Now then, Hugh, I think you broke a few hearts out there, didn't you, young man? I, well, I think my mum's out there, so I probably broke her, I think. She was crying a bit. <laughs> now, what's this? Are you a dancer, a singer? What are you? I'm a dancer, singer, actor, bit of modelling, I do it all. OK, so yeah. you're already a pro then? Well, I'm dancing in Panto at the minute in Derry at the Millennium Forum. With the old Tipperary tail gun. I am, yeah, and he looks great. <laughs> he really does, yeah. For 106, he's not doing bad, is he? He looks about 40. He really does, he looks really well. But we're selling to pack houses at the minute, so that's good. Now, Michael Bublé track, nice, yeah. down, very romantic, mm -hmm. very slashy. Do you think it went well? I think it went OK, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you're your own worst critic when you're out there. And it's a big crowd, yeah. you know, and it's, this is the big one, you know. What, so, uh, what would it mean to you, though, Hugh? Um, at my age? Can I tell you how old I am? Well, hang on, we'll have a guess. I'd say 36. 33? 33? Oh, God, I said 36. <laughs> I haven't got my contact lenses in, it has to be said. But singing's always been my first love. Right. Um, the dancing, the acting, modeling all came afterwards. So singing right. for me is what I've always done. Okay. And something like this is just... You don't get many chances like no, this. No, of course not. You know, but so. how does it differ, you from like something like on TV? Is this, you know, is this good too? Oh, this is fantastic. I mean, live stuff's brilliant. You know, I mean, the, when you do the panto and stuff with the kids screaming and everything, the atmosphere, I and mean, the atmosphere is electric out there tonight. It's really, really good.
I'm with the lovely Jade Hewitt, all the way from Sheffield. Now, Jade, how did that go for you? I um, thoroughly enjoyed it. I, mean, it's, I got nervous at but I looked at my sister, she gave me confidence. Yeah. Now, your sister is a singer already. Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, that's why I got into it, because okay. took spotlight off her. Yeah, it's nice to do that, <laughs> absolutely. Now, so but she's older than you. She's nine years older, for heaven's sake, yes. isn't she? Yes. Oh, she'll kill you. Yeah, no, she told me. Oh, she right. Oh, that's all right, then. She has been shouting your praises through a oh, megaphone. Oh, that's out. nice. Yeah. That's yeah. That's now, nice. I thought you were fantastic. Thank you. And that song is really big. You've got such a big voice. Yeah, I'm, I'm from up north, so I've got a good set of lungs on me. <laughs> well, yes, I think that. probably we'd go along with that. Okay, but you've not sung that song in this um, key. No, that was the first time. I, when we were doing rehearsals, I thought, oh, I'll get to sing it all. No, I only got to sing low notes. So I was like, oh no, am I going to make him? So I thought, glanced at right, have a look at me, his stop. And I thought, if I don't make it, she'll kill me. Yeah. So basically, do it or she'll kill you. I saw your eyes flick down and that's who you were looking at. It was a fantastic <laughs> note and a great performance. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great performance. Are you pleased with that? Uh, very, very pleased with that, yeah. Um, it tends to be uh, when you do your sound check and everything, you think, oh, it's, something's going to happen. Uh, and then when you can belt it out like that, but it comes, I think 75% of it comes from the crowd as well. If they're giving you uh, a, a good do, Absolutely. then, uh, yeah. I mean, there was plenty of feedback, plenty of women shrieking. It was, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I think, uh, I think my missus is going to kill me later on. But, <laughs> <laughs> but just make sure if they throw underwear at you that you don't keep it, you throw it back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, where are your roots uh, in music? Uh, my roots, uh, there's a mixture, uh, a bit of swing, uh, mainly Michael Jackson. Uh, Michael Jackson, for me, is a massive influence. Um, I've, I've followed that guy for a long, long time. Okay, so you're a Suffolk girl, but you look like a singer-songwriter. Good, and you a good are. Thing. I am. So yeah. why didn't you sing one of your own songs tonight? I think with an audience that are voting, it's nice for them to have something they can relate to, something that they know. It's a different take on the song, so I hope they pick that up and realise I've done my own thing with it. You have done your own thing, yeah. very much so. Do you know what it strikes me? A sort of a very young Marilyn Monroe, if she'd ever played the guitar you know, and written a song. I've heard that before. I think it's the hair. Yeah, it could be the hair. <laughs> and the breathy voice. You see, very breathy, very. Well, thank sexy. you. I take that as a big compliment. Where are your influences in music? I love the folk scene. I grew up with Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, that kind of thing going on around me. A lot of country music as well, but I listen to anything. I studied classical singing for a while, so that's helped me with my technique, definitely. Despite my colleague, Mr. Harris, really wanting to interview this young lady, well, I've, I've got the place, so here I am. And this is Heidi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Well, okay, still shaky. A little, a little shaky, bit of adrenaline going down. <laughs> Just a wee bit. It was, that was really good. It was really bad. I don't no. normally sound like that at all. I didn't want to say anything, 
on camera, but you came off and you said, oh, God, that was really bad right before we came on camera. And I was thinking complete opposite. Thanks. Really. I'm just saying that, but thanks. No, no, it was really good. I mean, it, it hit all the right notes in all the right places. Why that song of all the songs? Um, I don't know. It's just something different. Like, people in competitions like this don't normally sing songs like that. No. So, I just, I don't know. I thought it was a song that no one else would do. And it's a song that, like, shows off your voice. Backstage at the Guild Hall, uh, and this gentleman's just come off his name, Sean Keelan. Sean, how are you doing? Fantastic, absolutely great. Really good out there yeah. for you? Yeah, brilliant, absolutely ecstatic. Okay. Tell, for those at home that don't know, your choice of song. Um, it's one of my own songs, I write my own electro-pop songs called uh, I Could Spend My Life With You, a little bit from the heart. So. Okay, and then what process went into writing that? Um, it just started basically as an instrumental track and then try to get my feelings and emotions into it and came up with a song in the end. Hopefully catchy enough to get the audience into it. Okay, and did you kind of put some of your own experiences into that? Yeah, yeah, most, most of it sort of from the heart, the lyrics, so... Before this started, your family showed me a picture of you and they said, this is the sexy beast no. who's going to win this entire thing. <laughs> Having heard you sing, you don't be far off the money, let me mm. tell you. Are you a fan of Tony Braxton? I am a lover. She's absolutely fantastic. I've actually liked since I was about 11, listened to all the songs. Really? And I've always sang the songs at karaoke. So, so yeah. Now, here's another curious thing. You've got a West Midlands accent. I there. am. But when <laughs> Sing, it just goes. Yeah. Now, how does that work? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm like totally different when I sing. Like my person, like everything is totally different. Because you just stand there. And there's no dude light. There's none of that. It's just beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. It really is. Now tell me about this beautiful thing oh, here. My little darling Rosie. I actually didn't know her until um, I auditioned, and um, I was after a ballet dance for the regional. And I got into the newspapers and asked them to help me find a ballet dancer. No dance way! And, and they, they just <laughs> come to you. I found yeah. my little How angel. How extraordinary! Really good friend. Well, you're fantastic. Thank you. Well Thank done, you. you. It gives something else. It added performance. Yeah, it's it? different. You know? That's why. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, this is Denise. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Now, you see, what sets that aside for me is it's an unadulterated voice. There's no big backing track. No, exactly. Beautiful singing. Thank you. Where does your inspiration come from? Well, to be honest, I sing all sorts of different songs, and predominantly I do a lot of musical theatre stuff. And I just said to Ian, I just said, I want to do something completely fresh, pure, and just show the ability to sing, rather than relying on a big track and stuff like that. Well, you certainly did that, girl. Thank you. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, though, Ian, to sit out there with your uh, is, little yeah. Ian unplugged. That's it. I, I don't know if they thought it was me that was going to do some singing, but I can tell you that singing's not women, for me. Yeah, the couple of were screaming as you came on. Were they? But, yeah, that's me, Mum. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, backstage at the Portsmouth Guildhall for Idol 2008. There are over 20 artists battling out tonight for the main title in the over-18s competition. One of those contestants is Connell. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. And fresh off the stage, we're catching everyone tonight, literally as they come off, to get their, their initial first reactions to how they felt they did. How did you feel you did? Well, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so, um, you know, I think I could have done that a lot better. But, you know, I mean, judging from the crowd, I actually thought it went pretty well. I did my best, I had fun. I'm just glad to have actually got this far. And to be honest, I just went out there to have fun more than anything. You know, if I win, brilliant. If I don't, I had fun, so, yeah. Did you get something out of that, though, now, you know, now that you've gone and you've done it? Do you feel a little more relaxed? A lot more relaxed. I mean, I was pacing up and down all the corridors. I was trying to go for a little walk, trying to calm myself down. But, yeah, no, I'm a lot calmer now. I've got it out of the way, and now I can just enjoy the rest of the singers performing tonight and, yeah, just have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> Have I got the name right to yes. start with? Okay, this coat kind of means a bit to you, doesn't it? Because don't you do a bit of battlings? Oh, it brings back many memories. Years ago, about six years ago, yeah, yeah. I was a red coat. Really? Okay. Now that's a big song, and you nailed it, girl. Did I? Oh, thank Absolutely you. Spot on. The key <laughs> change you. and the walk forward. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you. Really? Yeah, <laughs> like that. Now, but you're from the Isle of Wight. Um, well, I live on the Isle of Wight. Right. I'm from Wiltshire okay. originally. Yeah. All right. But is there much scope for entertainment out there? Can you get and sing in places? Yeah. Or well, um, I, I work. Um, I work as a singer at right. the moment. Um, as one of my many jobs. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> um, you're able to earn some money doing it now, which is good. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what would it mean for you, Anissa, if you were to win this? Um, well, to start with, if I was to win this, I would be amazingly gobsmacked because the competition out there is just it's amazing. Hot, but you're good, um, girl. You're good. But if I was to win it, I'm. Oh, I haven't even thought that far because I, I listened to the soundtracks, uh, the, the soundtracks tonight, and uh, everyone was so good. But if I was to win it, I think it would be whoa, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> How did that go for you? It went really well, thank you. Yeah? Yes, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Really enjoyed Have it. Have you performed in front of large crowds before? This um, size? Probably not this size, no. Yeah. Um, but so is it, does it make a difference, you know, if it's live and there's a lot of people? I think it does, yeah. A lot of the energy, you know, you get to kind of um, thrive off. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, 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 it makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. Yeah, so you actually it. prefer that then? The bigger the crowd, the better? Yeah, I think it depends on what kind of venue, because if, um, if it's something intimate, then obviously that's got a different feel as well. But something, something like this, I think a large audience is, is appropriate. Yeah. And what's your sort of musical influence? Um, Where are your roots? I, I'm, I'm a big fan of kind of Dido, um, Natalie and Ruglia. Right. Yeah, which I just, I just sang a song of hers.
But I don't know how I'm going to tackle this. I'll never know. But I am going to speak to these girls who are... Who are you? Just those girls. Okay, right. Just those dancers. And just those dancers as well. Check that out. Right, let's get your names. Vicky. Joe. Kayla. Grace. Jess. Ridley. Naomi. Marina. Lucy. Who's the spokesperson, would you say? Yeah, yeah. Look at the... Okay. I'm so happy about it, but Tell us how you all got together. Well, <laughs> let's get the say. easy bit done. Okay. That's my sister. Okay, so they're related. We've got that down. Um, and then Lucy and Marina and Ridley and myself, we used to sing in a choir together years ago, went to school together, stayed friends. And the dancers are pupils at a school that I teach at, so that's how we all got together. Okay. Um, this, in this particular instance, it's all about choreography. I mean, we've asked people tonight about what inspires them to sing the songs they've been singing and so on and so forth. You like the choreography? Both. <laughs> Very clever, but I like both, actually. But... Um, Tell us about the choreography. That, that must be quite difficult to put together. Um, I teach them, as I said, like at the school that I go to, and they all come to my commercial jazz class. So we kind of just took little bits from there that I've done with them, and then just played around with it a bit. But, Did it take long to get together? Um, a little bit, but it's not really down to me. It's them. They're the, they're the dancers. They make it look good. So it's up to them. Okay, this is Shoma. Now then, Hi, that guys. is a very, very popular song, isn't it? Yes. Does that make it more pressure if it's a song that everyone knows and everyone's singing at the moment? I know it's a really difficult song and I thought I'd choose it just to try and challenge myself because I like to kind of challenge myself. But, ooh, I don't know about how it went. Just a bit nervous, really. It's always nerve-wracking I know. There. Particularly having to wait, I think, because I mean, yeah. it's been two hours since we started. Yeah. So sometimes it's better to get on first rather than, you know... Yeah, so I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting, but it's over now, so... Okay. well, fingers I'm... crossed. What would it mean to you, Chioma, if you were to win? Oh, it would mean so much. The amount of singing competitions I've been through, it would just be a bit of self-certification for myself just to know, like, yeah, you can sing. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it'd be brilliant. All right, good luck. Thank you. Tallest girl in the competition. <laughs> Bruno, that was fabulous. You got such a great range. Thank you. How did you feel that went for you? Um, it was good. It was a really good experience. Um, and I think the singing went pretty well. Lots of people in the audience rooting for you. Yes. Um, I've got a, a coach load come down from Siren Sester. And um, yeah, I've got a good crowd in there. Excellent. I think you shocked a lot of people because you've got such a great voice. Thank you. I mean, you've got a deep chest voice and you've got a nice head voice too. Thank you. See, I know what I'm talking about yeah. singing, you know. <laughs> right, Danny, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. do kind of the whole final thing so you were the last one on weren't you yeah <laughs> scary <laughs> don't even waiting all night yeah no it was um i mean it was a really good experience really good experience i'm really glad to done it um scary waiting obviously being last very very scary but um it's, it's done now kind of glad it's done but um no really enjoyed it really really enjoyed it 
I enjoyed watching that, and you, you chose one of my favourite artists, which is James Morrison. Good, good, yeah, one of mine as well. I mean, so soulful, and I just, just love his music. Um, yeah, from the get-go, I, I was always going to do this song if I got this far. So, yeah, really good. And I imagine singing it around the house and stuff like that, you just got picked it up anyway and got... Yeah, 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 definitely. I've sung it for quite a few years now, so, um, yeah, definitely yeah, used to it. felt like the right song. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, wouldn't have done any other. Wouldn't have done any other. So yeah, really good. You pulled it off really well. Let's hope that it gets you a win tonight. I hope so. Danny, thanks very much. We're going to let you go and join the rest of uh, your fellow contestants. Nice one, fella. Cheers. Right. So now what they're going to do is they're all going to go over an orderly line. They're going to wait and then they go in and uh, we're going to start finding out. Just those girls. Idol 63! Idol 64 is Danny Baxter! Go on, keep going, keep going! So that is the last time to make your votes count. Okay. Idol 2008, the final, the result, the tension, you could cut it with a knife. Everyone's here backstage. I mean, everyone's so nervous. We've had great performances this evening. We've had solo singers, we've had singer-songwriters, we've had acoustic people unplugged, we've had rock and roll, we've had Robbie Williams lookalikes, we've had absolutely everything you can think of, including half a dozen beautiful young ladies behind me in those Just Those Girls. Fantastic. Entertainment-wise, it's been a superb night, but there can only be one winner. So we've got a publicity winner, we've got a runner-up, and we've got the number one. And the number one get a recording contract, and I'm being interrupted here. Who's this? Hello, buddy. <laughs> she said she can see my knickers. <laughs> what colour are they? I don't believe. <laughs> my turquoise <laughs> pants revealed to the nation. Jade Hewitt and Rowena, 
the runner-up and the winner of Idol 2008. It was a fantastic competition. There's something going on here. Both sultry, dark-haired yeah. young ladies. Brunette. I reckon the judges, that's what it was. Go the brunettes. Let's talk to you first, Jade. I mean, are you pleased to come second? Oh, definitely. I, I didn't think I'd got second because there's been that many amazing people that's gone to these competitions. Uh, but I said even when she did the rehearsals that she gave me shivers, so yeah. she definitely gave other people shivers. She did give people shivers, definitely. but so did you. It was a great performance Thank and a you. fabulous song, Thank which you, you nailed, much. as I told you when you came off. Thank you. So I predicted you. And what did I say to you in the wings? I said you had a fantastic voice, such a range. But were you surprised? Uh, yes, I'm still dumbfounded. I can't believe, I can't grasp the situation. <laughs> a recording contract, I mean, could spell something big for you? Uh, it's, it's too big I can't uh, it's a dream come true it's amazing, amazing. well uh, let's well, start when we start recording then it'll be amazing yeah exactly <laughs>